Hello everyone, this is Kyle from Teacher's Teacher, and in this video I want to do two things. First, I want to briefly share with you an outline for a new, exciting course coming to Teacher's Teacher later this year, and second, give you a sneak peek of some of the content, including a tutorial on how to record your screen to support your students with e-learning. So, let's get started. Teacher's Teacher seeks to provide the best online teacher training for educators in the state of Illinois. With the surge in demand for e-learning help and resources, Teacher's Teacher is developing a complete course to properly train educators on how to create and disperse authentic, high-quality videos to your students who are learning at home. A few features of this course will include an introduction to e-learning platforms and learning management systems, an introduction to screencasting and video creation, tools for scripting and designing engaging videos that meet state and local teaching standards, and built-in time to create and publish your very own first recorded and edited video. We hope that this course will aid teachers in navigating these new e-learning spaces and allow them to feel comfortable with the shift that many schools are making. While this course is in development and the need for this type of learning is high, we want to give educators in our Teacher's Teacher community a small taste of what this course has to offer with skills that you can take home now for free. That being said, the remainder of this video is a tutorial for how to use Screencast software for teachers who are looking for a quick, free solution to meet the educational demands of their students today. This will be covered in much greater detail in our upcoming course. Let's open up a Chrome browser and get started. After opening up your Chrome web browser, we're going to go to the Chrome web store. To do this, simply search for Chrome web store and hit enter. You can click on the first link and this will open up the Google Chrome Web Store. In the top left box, we're gonna search for an extension called Screencastify. You can hit enter and the results will pop up and this first one titled Screencastify is what you want to add to your Chrome browser. Click the Add to Chrome button. It will prompt you to add the extension, giving it access to your Chrome browser. You can hit Add Extension. And you will notice that it will be added up here at the top right corner of the browser. To access Screencastify, you can click on this icon that is added in the top right corner. This being the first time that you've opened the software, it will prompt you to sign in with your Google account. I recommend that you use your school Google account. If you do not have a school Google account, you can use a personal account as well. So you're gonna sign in with Google. You need to set permissions and you can give this permission to capture your camera and your microphone, and then also permission to draw and annotate anything that you want to on the screen as you're recording. You can click allow and hit allow. Once you've gone through that process, you are now fully logged in to Screencastify, which means you can use this to start creating a video that's recording your voice, your camera, and also your screen. To do this, simply go up to the icon again, and it will give you three different options. You can record this specific tab in your browser, which will keep it on this image. You can record the desktop, which means even if you move to something else, it will record anything that's on your desktop, or you also have the ability to record only your webcam. Your microphone can be toggled on and off here, and you can select which microphone you want to use if you have multiple inputs. And then your webcam can be toggled on and off here, and you can select a webcam to use as well. Once you're ready, you can hit record and you can see that my webcam is on and I actually have two screens connected to my computer. So I'm only going to record my first screen. Then I'm going to hit share. It'll give me a countdown that you could hear. And now we are actually recording. Now what I can do is I can pause the recording and stop it whenever I want to with this tool at the bottom. I have different options for when I can click things when I'm using my cursor. So right now, every time I click, there's kind of a red circle that pops up to notify uh, the viewer that I'm clicking something. I can also focus in 
on my mouse, if I am like scanning and maybe reading parts of a story to my students, I can turn that off. Or I can also not really show my cursor if it's being moved. In addition to the cursor settings, you also have the ability to draw, so we can have different colors, and then you also have the ability to erase anything that you draw as well. But you can always go back to your cursor just to navigate through any of this information that you're trying to cast to your students. So if you are possibly working on showing your students a Google slide presentation, you can just simply open up your Google slide presentation in the Chrome browser. You can start this process and you can begin to cast and record your videos. And you also have the option here to toggle the webcam on and off, depending on what you prefer with your videos. So I'm going to hit pause and I'm also going to hit stop recording. I'm going to end this recording. And the great thing about this program is that it is automatically syncing and downloading this information to my Google Drive. From there, you can create a link to send to your students. You can share it to Google Classroom and all these really, really awesome other things that allow you to very easily connect to this with your students. Thank you so much for sticking around for this tutorial. I really hope it helped as a very, very beginning lesson on how you can create videos to help your students through this new process of e-learning. Keep a lookout for the full course that will be coming a bit later this year, where we will cover this process in so much more detail to really help prepare you to make the best lessons possible. I'll see you next time.